Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta at Bombay's Navy Nagar, in fact, in Kolaba, uh, in southern Bombay. And my guest this week, an old general who sadly is not being allowed to fade away, although that might have been his wish. General K.S. Bulbul Brar, Bulbul to friends. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Walk the Talk. In Thank sort you of so much. In odd circumstances. Yeah. But you and I only meet in... We uh, met in 1984. Odd circumstances. During uh, the time of Blue Star, and now we meet here again. Meet, meet here again. Odd circumstances. And you tried very hard to sort of fade away quietly. I did. I did. As most old soldiers yeah. prefer to. And even when I go off on holidays, I keep a very low profile. I try to enjoy myself. I have this little nano car of mine. I jump into it. I go off to the golf course. I play a game of golf and come back. But now I think my movements are going to be restricted. Yeah. I have to be a little more careful. And you, you're carrying bones long, long after you cease to be an active soldier. <laughs> 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 but you respond with the laugh of an active soldier. So one, one has to adapt oneself to circumstances. Right. Um, <coughs> 1984 Blue Star mm -hmm. and now uh, 2002. A long time has passed. Yeah. 28 uh, years. When did you stop thinking that the nightmare was on? Uh, was there a point in your life when you thought now that life was back to normal, as it is in Punjab? No, no never. 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 Because whether the situation in Punjab improves or deteriorates, which it does at times, times it's getting a little bad, then it gets better. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it, there was always a very serious threat to me. Because after Blue Star, Bindranwale's relatives, his followers, Babar Khalsa, Khalistan Commando Force, a whole lot of them, all his soldiers who died uh, inside the temple, their relatives, they all shakod Amrit. And they swore revenge. Mm -hmm. Shakod Amrit, if I can explain, is like you know, partaking the of, nectar. of the holy nectar. Yeah. And, in and, front of the Granth Sahib, yeah, in front of the holy yeah. book. And yeah. they swore revenge. And they said, come what may, we are going to take revenge. And who were they to take revenge on? The five people. Mrs. Gandhi, mm -hmm. General Vaidya, General Sundarji, General Dayal, and General Brar. I conducted the operation. Mrs. Gandhi right. was the Prime Minister. General Vaidya was the Chief of the Army. General Sundarji was the Army Commander, and General Dayal was his co-commander. Now, at this point of time, Mrs. Gandhi assassinated, General Vaidya General assassinated. assassinated, General Sundarji and General Dayal have died natural deaths. Right. So I'm the only one left. Now, I knew that once they have given a threat of this nature from a holy place, they're going to carry it out some day or the other. At least they're going to try to do so. Let's go back to days when mm. uh, you and I were both young, yeah. or at least much younger. Yeah. Uh, 84 Blue Star. Mm. You did enter the bastion of the six, yeah. of your fellow six. Of course. Right? Uh, take us back <coughs> to what was going on in your mind. Mm -hmm. When were you told you have to do it? Uh, was it just a soldierly response, theek hai, uh, order hai karna hai? Or did you think for a moment and swallowed hard saying, what am I being asked to do? Because I will then remind you of something that General Sundarji had said after that. Yeah. Well, I was, we just got married a few months earlier and we were going to Manila it was for a honeymoon. It was a late marriage by Indian standards. Late marriage and we were going to Manila for You honeymoon. were a major general then? I was a major general. Commanding a division. And we were leaving for Delhi the next day. Right. And catching the evening flight to Manila. So we were in the mess in Merit having a drink. All the officers were there. They said, have a damn good holiday, sir. I said, fine, lovely, this side and the other. We had our tickets. We had our traveler's checks. We were all set to proceed to Manila. And we get a phone call in Meerut, round about 7 in the evening, to say that you're required for a conference in Chandi Mandir tomorrow morning. Time Chandi Mandir near Chandigarh. Near Chandigarh. Used to be the two core headquarters those days. Western um, Command was still not there. Uh, I don't know whether West, it was... Western Command I think was Shimla, was, I think, then, yeah. if I remember correctly. So, okay, what, what am I wanted there for? Let's see. So we drove from Meerut to um, Delhi. I caught the morning flight from Delhi to Chandigarh. There was a couple of cars there to receive me and take me straight to Chandi Mandir. I arrived Chandi Mandir and I told my wife I'll be back in the evening. And we catch the flight. Meanwhile, go and buy some gifts for our friends with whom we are staying. So a number of cars there. I'm rushed to the ops room, operations room. Maps on the wall. I'm still wondering what's going on. 
And then I'm told, sit down. You know the situation in Amrits is very bad? I said, yes. And General Sundarji in his usual style said, well, my BGS, please brief the general. I got BGS brief. is Brigadier, Brigadier General, general Staff. Staff. You know, la most of the audiences don't know for so, the So brief the general. So gave me a briefing. And it appeared to me that I'm being sent off uh, to carry out an operation. So in the sir. middle of all this briefing, I just said to him, I said, sir, I'm proceeding abroad tonight. I have been sanctioned annual leave. On my honeymoon. On my honeymoon. So he looked at General Dayal, and they whispered to each other. And then he said, well, Bulbul, I think your leave is off. You go another time. There's an aircraft waiting for you outside to take you to Amritsar. Give orders for your division to move from Meerut to Amritsar immediately. I'll give you 36 hours to settle down there and make your plans, and I shall come there for my first briefing. I want you to remember one thing. The temple has to be cleared at the earliest. Time is at a premium. Khalistan could be declared any day. Bindranwala is the, at the peak of his popularity. He's got the entire countryside in Punjab as his followers. All the villages, his broadcasts are being broadcast there. He's a guy who has been able to uh, almost be, uh, be accepted as a prophet. In fact, I would, uh, if I were to edit this uh, in terms of editing history, I would replace the word popularity with power. Yeah, power. I mean, he had power. I, you know, if, if he had such massive popularity among the six then uh, people of Punjab would not have put that chapter behind them yeah. the way they've done. And some say that... Uh, because ultimately, terrorism in Punjab has been fought by Punjabi Sikhs. Of course. Right? You know, of outsiders course. could not have fought it for them. So I said, okay, the task is given to me, here we go. And I got into Amritsar, I got my staff, and we got down to making plans. I didn't even know the layout of the Golden Temple. I'd never been there. So, quick reconnaissance. Uh, met the local civil administration police. They weren't of any help because they were defunct for I don't know how many months. Uh, Bindran Wale was in full control. They weren't able to give me any information about what's happening inside the Golden right. Temple. Besides what I'd read about DIG Atwal having been murdered and thrown out, etc. Right. Anyway, it was a task which had to be and done. You know, uh, because people will not remember now, but you know, uh, most people <coughs> today do not recall who General Ranjit Singh Dayal was. Yeah. Chief of Staff, yeah. uh, the deputy of uh, Sundarji. General Sundarji, you know, uh, yeah. he was the he was the lion of uh, Haji Pir Pass. That's right. He was know, a he was a very on, heroic soldier. On, over two rainy nights, he uh, got the Mahavir Chakra. He got the Mahavir Chakra, and he got the Haji Pir Pass. That's right. In that very difficult war. That's right. Uh, he was a paratrooper. Fantastic soldier. So, we made our plans, and and a, and a fellow Sikh. And a fellow Sikh. I'm a Sikh. I didn't give it a second thought. If you have to carry out a task, you don't think of religion, you don't think of caste, you don't think of creed. Here's your task, how best to carry it out. You're a soldier, you're in uniform. You have sworn to defend the country, the sovereignty of the country, to ensure the integrity of the country is not broken. And there were dangers that we may go the Bangladesh way. Uh, Khalistan's declared any time, Pakistan recognizes it, crosses the border, the right. Punjab police deserts, Hindus from Punjab Start rush seeing. towards Haryana, the Sikhs from that side rush towards Punjab. The Indian army, now what do we do? Do we stop the Pakistani influx into our territory? Do we prevent the establishment of Khalistan? Do we disarm the Punjab police? Do we control riots? Because there was no police in Punjab at that stage. They were a defunct organization. This India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.